it almost never fails. It's like, okay, 4th of July barbecues are the best. S'mores, you can't beat them in the summertime. Fireworks, eh, this is the great time. Like, there's just some things that never seem to fail. One of those things has to be the New England Patriots at this point. Like, they just, they get the best talent in. They, they develop them. And it's just it's just tough overall uh, to get any of these players uh, or, or to really stop the Patriots. Because they're, they're continually a playoff team. They're continually well coached. They draft well. All this different stuff. Kind of parlays into our latest addition to the Sports Breed podcast, talking about one player from all 32 NFL teams that is going to be a second year rising star. And for the New England Patriots, I think it's Christian Barmore. Now, Christian Barmore coming out of Alabama, stud. Stud. Look at any tape. Probably should have been a first round pick in the 2021 NFL draft. But honestly, I, I as soon as he was drafted by the Patriots, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, you want to talk about the best situation, like coming into a solid defense of, uh, of mind in a guy like Bill Belichick, coming into a solid defense. You know, you got Mac Jones last year as well. So they're all of a sudden a playoff team. And yes, Mac Jones, you know, you talk about it. Uh, he's going to be the franchise guy. He's already good. We get it. But Christian Barmore. I think is going to be the bigger story here. Now, I know, I get it. The, the quarterback is the most important position in the entire NFL game. I get it. Yes, he's going to be good. All that's good stuff. Now, let's sweep that all across for a second and just give this man the credit he deserves. Had over a 63.0 PFF grade last year for PFF, uh, you know, and for the Patriots, excuse me. And he's honestly going to be... I think he's going to be a tone setter on that defense for a very long time. Now, uh, you, you take a look at him and watch any tape from last year, like just him, his ability to take on double teams. I think he provides a little something for you in that pass rush as well. Like, and there's just so much to like from a guy like Christian Barmore. So, uh, and, and you take a look at it here, and you had 46 total tackles for the Patriots last year, had a sack and a half, and really, like I said, um, you know, came into a great situation and made the best of it and did a lot of different things so um you know i think when you come back and, and you look at this patriots defense it's already uh pretty stacked you know obviously you got dietrich wise jr um uh lawrence guy as well as that, at that other defensive end spot 340 defensive end spot that is matt judon uh mark wilson uh you know uh, and then obviously on the secondary malcolm butler uh kyle duggar who honestly might surprise a lot of people you also got Jabril peppers as a backup that's a little bit of a caveat there kevin uh excuse me devin mccordy as well jalen mills like who's actually played pretty well nobody really talks about that yes there's also the cole stranger they drafted in the first round like I'm, I'm i'm trying to give you guys the latest headlines but overall i'm so excited for um you know the, the this patriots team and a guy that i think is going to get needs to get a lot of praise is christian barmore because he's going to be a guy that really does step up uh for the patriots and continues to be a huge player for him and i, I think at the end of the day you know when you are looking at guys like christian barmore uh you have to be uh, serious in your intent to make your defensive line better and Christian Barmore immediately made the Patriots defensive line better um, and so and I, and again you kind of knew it ever since he was coming out of Alabama like there's a reason this guy was a projected first round pick at that 6'4", 3'10", uh, you know drafted at 38th overall and again I think as you get into uh, the nitty gritty of what you saw at Alabama from uh, from him you really liked what you saw I had eight sacks his sophomore year there in, uh, in Alabama and I really feel like he's going to be a guy that continues uh, to get better. He's still young. He's still there's still a lot to work with. The guy like Christian Barmore, and he's going to be a huge part to this New England Patriots defense for a long time. He's he's just going to keep getting better from here. It's scary. It's absolutely scary. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. Give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about our New England Patriots second-year rising star in defensive tackle. Christian Barmore.